Hey guys, it's VR Nosy, and I'm back, and I put the sound kit on my Oculus Quest. So, you want to see it? Here we go. I'm going to give you guys a 360 degree view of this baby. I'm pretty proud of her. Honestly, it was a little bit hard to get it just perfect on there, but I've got it now, and she's rocking, and I'm loving it. I ain't going to lie. So, um, I'm going to give you the good, I'm going to give you the bad, and uh, kind of give you if I recommend, my opinion, if I recommend it or not. Um, so... I'll give you the bad first. The bad, these headphones, these babies don't flip out. Um, they need to for the price point. The, uh, the Oculus Rift CV1 headphones did it. The, the Vibe Deluxe Audio Strap does it. And I think uh, it's, it's a necessary, almost a must have. Uh, the Modi Cap is gonna have to find a way to get that working with uh, their, their sound kit. I think if they really want it to be successful on the uh, consumer market. But uh, sometimes when I put it on my head, it scrapes over my ears and that ain't, that ain't good. But Overall, uh, it's not a huge problem right now because uh, I don't have a lot of other options. Um, and the other problem is that to adjust this left and right, um, you have to use a little screwdriver that came with it. Um, and so if you have a lot of people trying your Oculus Quest, that could be a problem because you're going to have to adjust it every, for every single person is going to have a different size head. So the earphones might not align up. So that could be a problem if you share your headset a lot. Um, the, um, if somebody sweats, it's going to get on your earphones because, again, you can't take them off easily or push them out of the way. So there is that problem. But um, for everyday use for me, I, this is going to work really well. Um, and um, I would say another problem, not to bring up a lot of problems because don't get me wrong. I love this headset, but I want you to know what you're getting into. Um, so the Oculus Quest case from the official Oculus company um, you know, it will no longer fit inside of there once you put the uh, Mighty Cat Quest on there. And I have some headphones in here right now, but it's not going to fit inside there. You would squish your headphones, basically. Um, and uh, so just know that hopefully maybe Mighty Cat will come out with a, a case that I could use, we can buy, and, you know, it would fit down in there like this. If you guys know of a case that would work with this, drop it down in the comments below. Um, let me know what it is, because I'm going to need one. I take it on the road with me a lot, and I don't want to just carry it like this. So... Um, I think that's something Mighty Cap needs to address um, since this is their product and, uh, you know, they kind of restricted our ability now to be able to put it inside the, the case. Um, so, the, uh, that's really the, 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 the only bad things that I could think of outside of the fact that they did not include any extra screws or the 3D printed pieces, which would have been amazing. I dropped one of the screws um, and I uh, had to hunt for about 20 minutes down in the carpet for it. Did find it, um, but had I not, I would have had to have what? Waited for it to ship from Germany back to, over to the USA for me to get a screw or maybe go to Lowe's and get lucky and find one that fits. I don't know. So um, I think, you know, it's got a, it's a specific little head on it. So 180 US dollars, throw an extra screw in the box, please. Um, and uh, I think it would be awesome too, really, if you had maybe, you know, an extra one of these down in there. Because if somebody breaks it, you know, that's the thing, like with them not flipping out, you loan somebody your headset and they're listening to sound and all of a sudden you say something and they pop it off, well, it's going to break it, right? And so um, that's something, that's another important reason it should do that because really you're going to have to tell everybody who uses this, make sure you don't, you know, pull on these or wobble anything, wobble it too hard. So, and I'm even kind of cautious when I'm putting it on my head, making sure I'm not, you know, putting too much pressure on it. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but, um, Aside from that, um, the not having the extra pieces and it not flipping out, I think those are kind of big deals. But aside from that, there's not really any huge negatives. Um, the um, the extra screws, I think, with that for $180, that should be in the box, at least one or two of them. But uh, it's not a major, major deal. I got everything together. Um, so for the good, the good is I don't have a cord dangling around my neck anymore. So when I'm playing Beat Saber, I ain't, you know, pulling the uh, auxiliary cord out of the three millimeter jack and falling on the floor. And now I'm playing Beat Saber without any sound, which sucked. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I would say that really overall, um, you know, having the benefit of not having a cord dangling over me anymore is a huge benefit. Um, I ain't gonna worry about swiping it or ripping it out anymore. Um, the uh, other thing I would say is that I'm hearing every single note. The bass sounds amazing. The sound quality 
um, directional hearing. Everything is really, really good. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I paid for it and what I got. Um, the, uh, like I said, I started playing Beat Saber and every single game I would play, I was beating my previous scores. And the only thing that changed was I added the sound kit. So the sound, I think, is actually so good, it's actually helping me do better in Beat Saber. Um, one, the, the, so you guys know, the headphones that I used previously was the Stealth 350 VR headset. Um, this was made for the... PlayStation VR, but it was designed for VR, and these are really good headsets, but you have to charge them. You can control the bass and the volume, and it does sound really good. And I had to pay close attention to be like, how much better is this than this? Because, you know, this was $50 or less, and this was $180. Um, and there are some similarities, but I ain't got to charge this, and honestly, this is a lot better. I, the sound kit, I, I'm hearing just every single sound, every single note in the music, and um, it, I don't know, it's just a high-quality headset. I, headphones i I'm, i am impressed if you're looking for a high quality headphones on a budget this right here i do recommend it i think these are great headphones but this right here is your your high quality so um i will show it to you guys i'll put it on real quick um so you can see what it looks like you want to make sure that you're wearing the quest properly when you put it on as well um make sure that when you put it on it is you know uh basically on the the back back of your head back here cradling the back of your head um, and, uh, so that you're wearing it properly and you guys can see what it looks like here. Um, again, you can't pull this up. Um, if somebody talks to you, you're going to have to raise the headset actually physically up. And if you got sound coming out, it's still covering your ears. So it's going to make it kind of hard to hear. Um, and that's really about all you can do though. Um, but I am getting user more used to taking it off and putting it on. The only fear I have is that, you know, if I rip one of these and one of these little things snap or break, what am I going to do? Wait to, from Germany for another piece? And that's why I think having that extra piece in the box would go a long ways. Um, but it's not, it, it, it does feel comfortable. Um, I would think maybe if they put just a little bit of padding right here on this, you know, sometimes that's hitting the side of your head, that would, that would help a lot too. Um, but it's not a major deal. Um, so do I recommend it absolutely <laughs> I'm, I'm, i'll put it this way it's growing on me and um i'm liking it more the more that i use it and i think in beat saber it's really really growing on me the very first time i used it i was like how big of a difference am i hearing between these headphones and my other ones and um uh, you know it it took a couple times but it's a lot better, and I think, like I said, it's growing on me, and every time I play, I realize how much better these headphones are, um, and so I definitely 100% recommend it. I think it's a good product. I think it's worth what I paid, um, but they really need to get the flip out thing um, working. That would be my, my biggest complaint. Um, aside from that, 100%, it's an awesome product. This is the Modicap Oculus Quest Sound Kit, and uh, kind of gives you that built-in headphones. For me, I plan to replace my Rift CV1 with my Oculus Quest, make this my PC VR headset using the Oculus Link that has not officially released yet, but it is in beta. I have a cable coming, and I will show you guys that once I get that in. Um, should be a couple days. And um, so I want good quality sound because this is my mobile VR, and it's going to be my PC VR replacing my Rift CV1. If the link is good, I think it's going to be. Um, and I got amazing headphones on here now. So guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please like this video, share this video, um, subscribe. And um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys found this video useful. And if you have any questions about it, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Um, this is the first headphone of this brand that I've, I've ever owned, so I can't compare it to you know another uh, headphone from this brand, but I can say it's, it's good headphones. So I, I, I recommend it. Um, Especially if you don't want to mod it with the, the Vibe Deluxe Audio Strap. This is going to be one of your only options for high quality sound. So anyway, guys, uh, until next time, like I said, just drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think.